Hi, so I haven't done a review in a while, and uh, I finally got a chance to go see Zombie Line, so I wanted to do a review for it. And as you know, it's a co zombie comedy film, and it's actually pretty well done. I really enjoyed it, although I didn't like it as much as, uh, say, Shaun the Dead, which is still my favorite. Anyways, the, the story is almost like any other zombie film, except that... um. The main character, played by uh, Jesse Eisenberg, is um, has these sets of rules to keep himself alive, and they're actually pretty funny. They're like cardio that he had to run, and they're, he jokes about how all the, the fat people went and got caught by the zombie first, and what he's trying to do is, he's at his college when the zombie outbreak occurred, and he's trying to get to his hometown, so, and on his way, he meets this... Um, guy who has no rules and he just goes around killing everybody and his nickname I guess is Tallahassee and that's played by Woody Harrelson and they meet up to go in the same directions and on the, and on the way they meet up with uh, Little Rock and Wenatchee I think um, and what they have what and I'm not going to spoil the story, but it makes a very oddball team in this uh, zombie infested world. Anyways, um, so when you usually think about zombie films, you tend to think horror. But um, this film is not really s scary, per se. There is some, like, few jump moments in there, but this is not really a horror film to, to startle you. But, and all the jump moments are usually at the beginning of the film. And zombie film, as you can expect, it would, it would be gore. And considering, as you can see from the trailer, there's a lot of action. And in fact, I don't think there is such thing as a PG-13 uh, zombie film to begin with. Anyways, there is gore in this film, and it's not that bad. Although, uh, I'm sure, it can make some people sick. Although compared to films, other zombie films that came out recently. It's that, to be quite honest, it's as bad as Shaun the Dead. There'll be like few scenes of extreme or pretty graphic gore, but that, apart from that, it's actually not too bad. And acting by all means is actually really well done. Um, Jesse Eisenberg, I'll come back to later, but Woody Harrelson was good. He was really funny. Um, Abigail Breslin and Emma Stone are both great. They're, I'm really look, starting to like them a lot as actresses, and I'm looking forward to other films they, they're going to do. And, and one of the main p appeal for this film is the comedy aspect. It's actually really well done. Um, there's a lot of good jokes, and there is some other type of humor in there as well. And... It's pretty funny, and like that rule thing that I was uh, mention, er, mentioning earlier, that comes into a, a lot of the humor too, because throughout the film what you see is as he's following some sort of rule, it would pop up somewhere as it was like some sort of subtitles, and then it's actually a gag that works really well in the film. And as for film parts that I didn't really enjoy, it, first of all, I'm pretty sure Jesse Eisenberg is getting typecasted into this awkward, nerdy teenager sort of thing, just like Michael Sarah. And it was like the. I, I was starting to see that in Ventureland, and I'm beginning to see that even more in Zombieland. And he was getting a little bit irritating in some parts. And although it didn't detract that much of my enjoyment from the film, I. I just don't want to see him getting typecasted into that sort of role in every single film. In fact, to be quite honest, I'm think, I think I honestly think if it was switched by Michael Cera in this film, I don't think it would have been any different. And personally, I don't like the the second act of the film when uh, Wenatchee and Little Rock comes in. It kind of slows down quite a bit. You don't see any zombies for a a really long time which I didn't quite like and it's still pretty funny although they can get on your nerves as well uh, I personally thought but 
But the third act is not only funny, it has a lot of action. Uh, the whole last part is set in the amusement park that they're getting that Wenatchee and uh, Little Rock is trying to get to. And that part is really awesome. And that was my favorite part of the film. And yeah, the film ends off in a really nice way, just like it, it was at the first the beginning of the film. And overall, I really enjoyed Zombie Land. I recommend it. The fact that it's a comedy probably makes it more manageable for some people to go see a zombie film than compared to like 28 Days Later or something. Um, but yeah. Um, if you have any comments or like if you have any other zombie comedy films that you can recommend, feel free to write in the comments and thank you for watching.